Welcome back to The Morning Show. It's Wise Guy Wednesday, and as promised, we're going to find out exactly why it is that we see birds relaxing on high-power wires, but not squirrels. And when we, and we find squirrels relaxing across two wires, then we have no power sometimes. So I think it has something to do also with the fact that it's easier for birds to get up there. Well, that could be. No. But, but, <laughs> but anyways. It's easier for them to stay up there. Right. So <laughs> we talked about circuits last time, and we explained how you need to have a place for the electricity to start out and also to end up. So you really need to touch two pieces of an electrical circuit before current will flow through you. Okay. So what a bird will do, and let me actually, what I have here is I have a little gizmo that's going to give us a nice high voltage across these two pretend power lines which are laying across the top. They're just aluminum bars. So I'm going to turn that on. Then I'm going to crank this voltage up, and you can see the right-hand needle says we're at 100 volts now, and now we're at 200 volts, and I guess we'll bring it up to 300. It's a little dangerous, nice. but Robert doesn't mind. Okay, so... <laughs> so and, and you have to wear Elton John glasses, evidently. This is the only ones I can Will I want to make my hair stand up if I make the connection? We can try Ooh, that was pretty good. Woo! <laughs> wow, very impressive. Okay. <laughs> Next time a warning, please. Nobody was near it. <laughs> well, there must have been a, okay, must nice have been a here. squirrel over there. Okay, so Jeez. anyways. So here's my little squirrel. It's just a piece of solder wire. What are you doing? <laughs> with some tinsel wrapped on it. And if I touch... And if I touch one side of this thing... Nothing happens. Nothing. If I touch the other side of this thing, nothing happens. But if I touch both of these things, let's see what happens to the squirrel. Oh. Okay, so he, he melted, actually. And, so, and, and the fur went, you know, floof like mm. that. So and there's this wonderful now, smell after that, too. Right. So what you can do, because it's kind of fun, is you can just take this in your hand. Okay. Okay. And you can just sort of slap it down on there. Keep your hand kind of back, but you Don't want to wire glasses. You, you can use the, the Elton John. <laughs> Not that it's going to matter if I fry, is it? All right, so then you just hit it against the thing? Yeah. Ooh. That was pretty good, huh? <laughs> this could actually be fun. <laughs> Physics is fun. Yeah, so what popped the first time? You kind of glossed over that. I think the first time there must have been a piece of wire just laying there that I forgot about. That's what must have happened. Okay. So what's happened here is that you have a few hundred volts. Okay, we should probably turn this off. You, you, <laughs> we, have, we have a few hundred volts on each one of these uh, uh, metal bars up here. Yeah. And these things are capacitors, and they contain a lot of charge. That means that you can get a lot of current flowing when you need it. And, of course, that's the same as a transformer. It, it can provide a lot of power when it needs to. So as soon as you shorted this one to that one, that's what happens. And so hmm. whenever you short out you know, a power source like that, you, you, something bad happens. That's why people's houses burn down in the winter if they short things out mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Sure. Now, did the meter bounce when we were hitting this? Oh, definitely the yeah. meter bounced big time. Okay. So, of course, I, had, I asked this question last week. I got good answers from, from Will, as usual. And uh, several other people got T-shirts for sending the correct answer about the bird. And so next week, I want to talk about a way that electricity can flow without any wires at all. And, the, and I want people to see if they can tell me what I'm thinking about. It has actually something to do with the northern lights, believe it or not. Really? Yes. Okay. Tie the two together. All right. If you have a question for Matt or you want to send him an answer to his question this week, send it to the morning show at WCIA.com. We can send it to him, or you can email him directly at, the, at wiseguy at uiuc.edu. Leave a message on the morning show feedback line, 373-3650 or 3661, or you can go online to wiseguy.net. I'm getting braver. I'm standing close to this thing again. Yeah, because it's off, Robert. Well, yeah. <laughs> again?